Hi again, it's Meg, and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about plants and flowers that you may be seeing outside right now. I know I could have moved on to another topic, but quite frankly, there are so many gorgeous flowers out right now that I still want to talk about them, um, highlight some of their cool features, and also talk about this weird bug that you may have been seeing around recently. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed the video. This flower is called the Texas Yellow Star. It's most easily identified by its three to six really brilliant golden yellow petals. Um, and the center isn't quite brown, but it does have some specks in there that make it pretty easy to pick out in a crowd. Um, the stem is really fuzzy. I don't know if you can see it right here. Not pokey, but pretty hairy and stout, and the leaves are really flat. Um, this flower is actually related to the same family that the sunflower comes from and is seen kind of in bunches with itself uh, if you're lucky. If you look around here, there's quite a few more um, cute little guys and they don't get much bigger than this, but they're all over the place right now, so keep an eye out. This flower is called Evening Primrose. It's often seen in shades of dark to light pink and it's really unique in that it blooms and withers every single day. Its namesake comes from the fact that the new blossom comes in the evening and often is seen until the next afternoon when it starts to actually wither away. It's a gorgeous flower and is seen all over Texas right now. This plant is called Black Medic. It's not necessarily a wild flower, but I did want to point it out because it's absolutely all around town. Um, I see it next to sidewalks, in front of buildings. Um, it's pretty prolific right now. So it gets its name because it actually has a few supposed medicinal properties. Um, it can be used as a mild laxative and apparently has antiseptic properties. I think the easiest way to identify it is to look at its little flower here on top. Um, it's really small and kind of grows in a bunch. The petals don't really splay out any more than this, but do keep an eye out for it. It's really hard to miss with all of its little baby yellow blossoms, um, but it's a really cool plant. So if you've been out looking around at wildflowers recently, you may have noticed that a lot of plants have this little kind of white, spitty, bubbly texture, um, often where the stem meets the base of each leaf. And I am gonna pick this guy real quick because I just wanna talk about it for a minute. Um, this is actually a protective little area for a bug. And that bug is called a spittle bug. It's aptly named because it's a little protective out outside here. Looks like someone just spit on the plant, but inside there's actually a bug that's growing. Um, they use this for a lot of protection when they're quite a bit littler, when they're still nymphs or they're babies. But um, I'll show you inside what we look like and we might be able to find the bug. So here we are, here's a, he's actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting, but this is your spittle bug, and he lives inside these guys. They're not detrimental to the plant, but they do um, feed on what's inside the stem. 